Hi guys, it's Music King, and Nintendo just released the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate 10.1.0 Balance Patch. I'm going to now tell you everything we've learned so far in this video. You can now switch between random from all songs and random from my music from the Battlefield, Small Battlefield, Big Battlefield, lol, and Final Destination stages. To switch between options, access my music via the options or the vault and then press the X button. In the upper right corner, as you can see uh, where it says the X button, it starts off by saying all songs, but then when you press the X button, it changes to my music. What all songs is, is basically, you know how Ultimate has hundreds, no, thousands of songs? Well, it just randomly selects one. This is uh, both a good and bad thing when playing online, but sometimes people want, you know, to pick between their favorite songs. And you kind of can now, to a degree. You can pick between 56 songs. So when you get to all my music, you can just be like, okay, well, I like Galeem and Metal Mario, so I'm going to turn those up. And now you have like a very high chance of getting it for like a 50-50 chance, or maybe like smaller than that if your opponent doesn't also, depending on your opponent's settings as well, since it's a 50-50 chance when you get online, whose rule set's going to be picked. But it increases the odds a lot that you get your favorite song by using my music. So if there's particular songs in this set of 56 that you enjoy, just set them to a high number and you'll get them much more often. Another change was the final smashes, but only for certain variations of Cloud, particularly the Advent Children. The final smash for Cloud's P2, P4, P6, and P8 color variations, or the Advent Children one, have been changed to Omni Slash version 5. This essentially functions the same as a regular Omni Slash. Just to be sure, it's into training mode and tested things like distance and attack power, and they do function exactly identical. The only difference is the animation. Now for the game balance adjustments that have been made, which a lot of people have been looking for. I will now talk about the fighter adjustments. Most of the fighter adjustments have been fixes to multi-hits so that moves work more properly. Not every change has been this, as I will describe, but the majority of them were. Some moves also got an extra big uh, version of their attack at the end of the move. For example, if there's a multi-hit attack, uh, sometimes to make sure that the final hit connects properly, they make the final hit a little bit bigger. This could be useful in two ways. One way is that the move will connect more consistently since the final hit is more likely to land. And a second benefit of this is that if the move is like spaced, instead of barely missing, it might barely connect. First, I'll talk about Fox. Fox's forward air and down air attack have both had a similar buff. For Fox's forward air attack, they made it easier to hit multiple times. They increased the attack range of the first attack through the fourth attack. Now, I don't know exactly what the hitboxes look like, but not only will it hit more uh, more times in succession, based on where they make the attack range, it will, might just be a bigger and more likely to land hitbox in general, which means it's a, a buff for the move, most likely. Down air also has a similar effect where they made it easier to hit multiple times and increase the attack range. This is a really good buff because foxes love to use down air in order to combo into the up smash or tech chase into the up smash. Foxes love to do full hop empty lands into a mix up or foxes love to do full hop landing nair into the up smash. But another thing foxes love to do is the down air. It's a big part of their game because you have to guess is fox going to do the nair, is fox going to do the down air, or is fox going to do the full hop fast fall land. This is an unreactable like one in three mix up where fox can guess, guess right like one third or two thirds at a time, depending on what the opponent's thinking, based on which time they release their shield, since downer is a multi hit. Now, the downer is easier to hit multiple times and the attack range increased, which probably means the hitbox is bigger, which to me is a huge buff for the downer, and this could make Fox better. For Luigi, his dash attack has been buffed in that they made it easier to hit multiple times. Personally, I've never had people fall out of the move, but I guess that's gonna happen even less now. For Zelda's side smash attack, they made it easier to hit multiple times, and they increased the final attack's range. This means that not only will people not fall out of her forward smash as often, but if you are spacing a forward smash, instead of it barely missing, it might barely land now, theoretically. Pichu's side smash attack increased final attack range, which I believe will also make it easier to hit multiple times, because as I mentioned earlier, uh, for multi-hit attacks, there's usually a few small hitboxes, and then the final hit is a bigger hitbox, because, you know, the game programmers want to make sure that there's a high chance that that move connects. This is useful for Pichu since there have been a lot of times I've seen or done myself Pichu's uh, forward smash and people just fall out of it for some reason sometimes, especially for like two framing and stuff. Well, now this is going to happen less often. For both Young Link and Toon Link, their up specials or up Bs were improved. Made it easier to hit multiple times when using the move in the air. 
a lot of the times when I'm playing online, I would use Young Link's up B, for example, and I would like try to up B and I would drift back, and they would just easily fall out near the end of the move. Now that's less likely to happen. I've tested this with Young Link and Toon Link. However, I do want to mention there's actually a difference. Um, so I put the computer at 150 and jump with uh, Toon Link and Young Link, and I drifted back at the end of both. With Toon Link, it still always connects. But with Young Link, they could pop out of the final hit. So even though it has been improved, it is still not 100% perfect for Young Link specifically. For Rosalina and Luma, her forward air attack made it easier to hit multiple times, which is huge, by the way, because if you know from like my older videos, like two years ago, I always talked about how Rosalina's fair just didn't work because they would just like, okay, it would hit them, and they're, most of the time, like more than half the time, or at least half the time, they're just going to fall out of the move, and that's kind of pathetic. That move is very, was very badly programmed. Well, now, they, again, they changed it, made it easier to hit multiple times, decreased the attack range above the skirt's hemline, and made it easier to continue with later attacks, and they increased the final attack's range. I personally tested Rosalina's forward air at 150 on a jumping computer, and I got it the vast majority of the time, and I must say, the improvement compared to in the past is very significant. In a nutshell, the move is actually usable now, because it's actually going to connect into the final hit. That's the most important thing to take away from this. For me, Gunner, the up throw has been changed to adjust the launch angle and increased attack range for the shot fired after the throw. Since this is one of those uh, moves where you throw a character up and then shoot a projectile, they basically just wanted to make this more consistent, because, you know, there's more variation you consider different characters, percents, rages, directional influence, and all that. There's probably certain combinations where the move misses more often than the game developers intended. That's This pretty much makes this move more consistent, so that's a buff for me, me Gunner in situations where they want to use that move. For Duck Hunt, the side smash attack has been buffed, made it easier to hit multiple times, and decreased the time that an opponent can hit stun shuffle, or smash DI, during the first and second attacks. So now Duck Hunt's uh, forward smash will connect more consistently. An interesting change was Alomar, Alomar's up special or up B. After throwing a Pikmin with a side smash attack or side special, if there are other Pikmin nearby when using up special, an air attack using Pikmin will occur. Basically what this means is um, in the past, for various reasons, uh, there was glitches where um, you would up B with Alomar and then you try to like do like a forward air with a Pikmin or something. And for various reasons, such as if the Pikmin's thrown away, smashed away, or dead, just as an example, um, it might not work. Like you might just be try, you might be hitting air, and it will not function properly. Well, now it will function properly, and the move will work more consistently. I basically, I was talking with Myron just to be sure, and I basically said, so Pikmin errors after all might be never fail now, and in the past they could. And he said, basically, yeah. Also, if a Pikmin was on the ground and he did up B, and did a Pikmin aerial, it'd always whiff. Also, if a Pikmin died at the same time he did an attack with another Pikmin, it would briefly make the dying Pikmin your first in line, making the attack with. Both, in a nutshell, the character works more consistently now. It also says, several issues have been fixed to improve gameplay experience. Now, according to what I've been reading on Twitter all day, I have not seen anything about this up to this point in time. So if I do discover any more information, then I will let you guys know. All right, guys, thanks for watching my video. Uh, if you figure out what the various gameplay fixes are, please let me know in the comments below. Also, guys, I'm doing coaching now. So if you're interested in signing up for my coaching, uh, the, the link will be in the YouTube description and my Twitter bio. And if you wanted, would like to join my monthly turn series, Frame Perfect Series Online, you can also check the YouTube description in order to uh, sign up for that. I do these uh, once every month or so, and the rule set should be very interesting to you. And it has a lot of different games, and I hope you guys do enjoy it. And I'll see you next video and next stream.